everything, right? I mean, it's me. That's me. How you doing? Yeah. So a lot of people are very happy to see you in this position. I wanted to ask you on an emotional level, strip back the amazing promos on TV. Yep. On an emotional level, what does it mean to you to be here right now in the UK and money in the bank in this situation? I mean, you're talking about 20 years of uh, a culmination of 20 years to get to this place where, you know, after being shut out for a long time or, you know, being off doing my own thing or whatever, finally I'm coming here and proving it to everybody around the world. And it's not just, man, it, it's not a small thing. Everywhere we've gone, all around the world has been the same song. Yeah. That song goes L.A. Night, and you hear it every single place we go. So at this point, man, you, you, you're just talking about a feeling of... Uh, maybe partially I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> and at the same time, a feeling of just like, now's the time to strike while the iron's hot. They talk about strapping the rocket to me, yeah. give me the push. Don't worry about that. I've been strapping the rocket to myself and giving myself a push for a good long time. Absolutely, man. And when you think about legacy, when you think about the LA Knight legacy and everything you've achieved and what you have left to achieve, do you concern yourself much with legacy and what it means to you? Well, sure. I, look, when you get into something like this, a lot of what you're doing is, uh, let's be honest, everybody's probably a little bit of an egomaniac on this thing. So so when you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, what, what can I leave behind? And I'm no different. So a lot of me is just like, man, all right, I, I want to make my mark on this thing, get in, get make just a crater in this business, and then get out and move on. Absolutely. And one of the things I've always wanted to ask you, you're such a confident performer. We do a lot of work with young people. They look at you and they think, oh, I'm never going to have that confidence. I'm not, I don't know how to get that for myself. I wonder if you've ever had a crisis of confidence LA night and how you overcame that if you were able to do so. I think I'm having one right now doing this whole thing. Uh, no, I'm lying. Uh, it, it, you know, I, I don't know, man. It, it, there was a point in time, I think I was probably a teenager, where I just started faking it. And, uh, and at some point, it made people really hate me for a minute. And then it was like, a, you know, as I was faking it, I was, you know, overdoing it. And then as I started to really get it for real, it kind of backed off and it kind of met in the middle. So I, I really don't know. Uh, don't go around annoying everybody. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just got to fake it till you make it if it's not there. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much.